to combine these exercises for my legs or actually any kind of weight training program I like to combine it with cardio because when you're doing weights if you work hard enough you're going to burn a ton of carbohydrates so having said that once you get on the treadmill or some kind of cardio equipment or bike ride after you have nothing to lose but fat yeah a lot of calories okay so the first one is a deep plie it's timed we have two rounds 30 seconds on and 10 seconds rest so you're going to step wide toes out to the corners and then <laughs> I can't help it I told you I got some cats hanging around I don't want to I don't want to block them up anywhere just okay can you go so they can see my feet can you just go so they can see my feet go that way now I know baby all right take it low timers on and we're gonna pulse for 30 seconds okay here we go make sure your knees you want to get that little medius at the side of your thighs you know give you that little curve you need to aim at directing your knees to the back of the room, wherever you are, back of the yard, back of the garage. <laughs> so keep them back, your knees go back. Deep breathe, take it deeper. And just tiny pulses, it's a deep plie is what I call these. Okay, the next is a stationary lunge. So you're gonna be facing sideways. Body's up nice and straight. What you want to do is lunge sink into the floor. Let your lunge sink versus guiding forward. There you go. So we have 30 seconds on, 10 second break. Yeah, we got two rounds of these. If you're advanced, primed and ready to go, and you're nice and warmed up and fueled up, go ahead and shoot for, for another round. Just because I do two here doesn't mean you can't do another one or you can scale back. Just remember the foreign technique. So you're sinking into the floor. Now, I'm keeping that back leg straight to hit my glutes and my hamstrings more. If you wanna aim towards your quadriceps, and put more focus, just bend your knee. That's all you gotta do. This is just my favorite. Next we have stationary side lunges. And we're gonna step wide. Step wide again to get all of it. And then we're gonna lunge to the side. Here we go. And we're gonna keep it here and bring it back up. There you go. If you want, you can come up and bring your feet together. But in this workout, this is what I chose to do. Make sure you deep breathe and that knee stays out. It takes this to get that knee out right here, right here. And you'll feel it. This gets deep in your gluteus medius. Okay. Stretch it out a little bit. We got the other side to do. Yarn if you don't have two legs. Here we go. I say squat jumps for last. That's what we have. If you have a problem doing squat jumps, go ahead and squat. March in place. Don't just stand there. Just do something. There you go. You're looking good. Looking good. There you go. Okay. Hope I don't go through the roof. Now I won't. <laughs> this is where you want to squeeze the glutes. Here. 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 Now that was kind of cardio-wise. You're gonna rest a minute. 
get your water, walk around. We have another round. Okay, notice that on the squat jump, my focus was straight ahead. If you focus down, your back is gonna round and you'll probably only come up halfway. So, you guys ready? Here we go. Deep plie. Recover long if you need it. Recover longer or shorter. Make this your workout. I'm just the one with the boot. <laughs> boot camp. Get it? Okay, good. Let's go. Here we go. Deep plie. Knees back. If you have to press your knees back with your hands, go ahead and do that. My cat loves to hang out. Especially when I do these videos, he's like all over it. My kitten's inside the house. I don't do many workouts inside the house. So, oh yeah. Oh, mercy. Y'all feel that? Going into stationary lunge, back leg straight or bent for quadriceps. Just remember, you can bend them. Oh, oh yeah, I feel this. Oh yeah, round two, you can do round three or four. Sink into the floor, make sure the knee does not pass the foot. Here's an example. Maybe that did not have a wide stance here. <laughs> yeah, that knee does not pass the second and third toe. Here we go. Here we go. Down and up. Down and up. You're doing good, y'all. Hang in there. If you're still doing these, and hanging with me, you're pretty tough. Hang in there. Not bad for 64 years old, huh? I got a birthday in five months. <laughs> Actually, six. Oh, yeah. Oh, shake it out a little bit. Next is a side lunge. Knee stays right in line with the foot. You got this, right? You're not just watching, right? You can do speed reps, like really fast, or you can do slow reps. Today, I'm using really slow reps. I mix it up a lot. I mix up my workouts, but I, I include all four, five components of physical fitness. I usually bike ride for my cardio, and uh, I'm not a fan of cardio equipment. I like to do solid ground for like walking, bike riding. That's my favorite type of cardio. But if you're just starting out, maybe a nice walk on the treadmill or elliptical or stairmaster. It's a good place to start to make sure you do your cardio after. Oh yeah. Oh, squat jumps. Here we go. There you go. Hang in there. Come on. You got it. You got it. Come on. Push yourself. Make it work. Mental. Step out. Okay. This is where I get most of my calf work, too. Legs should be on fire, y'all. Yeah. Don't forget to share this with a friend. Hit that little notification, like the video if you like the workouts.
don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss anything. This is series two. I'll see y'all next time. Whew. Yeah. I think saving the squat jumps to the last was. <laughs> Whoa. Now, I get on my bike. All right, I'm gonna get on my bike. And I'm gonna go six miles. All right.